Thursday NASCAR's back and we're there in Daytona for a pair of races on the high banks. Be there as the field is set for the 500. The Gatorade duel at Daytona Thursday 2 p.m. Eastern only on speed. It's going to be a lot of finger biting before those Thursday races are, are there, there, Darrell. There always is, and, and sometimes, most of the time, those are two of the best races you'll see down here all weekend. Got so many cars down here, 54 cars down here, and, and 19 of them, 19 them want, to, want to try to yep. race their way in, and there's only two positions per race yep. that actually transfer in. Allie Owens is going to receive the Aaron's Lucky Dog. She actually came onto pit road prior to that caution coming out to tighten her belt. She was a little nervous that the belts weren't tight enough. So she was a lap down. She gets that lap back courtesy of Aaron's. Well, that's a good call by her. You don't want to ride around here with uh, with loose belts. So that's a great heads up move by her. I've actually had them. I've actually hooked my glove in them before and, uh, and unsnapped them. And you, <laughs> that's a very uncomfortable feeling to be on a racetrack with no seat belts. How quick did you come in the pits? ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take another look at what happened here on lap number seven. Field coming through turns one and two. Watch that black and white car, the 52 of Bill Baird. That's Kenny Schrader's car, our buddy. See him gets, gets loose and then just can't quite catch up with it. Takes Steve Blackburn into the outside wall. Then some cars are going to start piling in. 31 did a good job of getting through. But uh, that was about it. Everybody here from here on back just keeps coming. And Leilani Moon Tour is in there. Here's, Russ here comes and cars. That, see, those cars came along way too fast. DW. Yeah, I mean, there's that white car. Couldn't see the number. I mean, he was he never he never checked up. Uh, I, I'm sure they have spotter meetings, and I'm sure the spotters are they got to be telling these guys to back it down. Uh, I mean, if nothing else, tell the driver cautions out, slow yeah, down, do something. There were way too many cars came in there. Look, there that, that one oh, coming yeah. through way yeah. too quick. Another one making contact, the 99. They're, they're, those last three or four cars, they should not have been in that wreck. Getting out in front, still it's James Busher, Joey Coulter, Mikey Kyle, Brian Silas, Nelson PK Jr. Those are your top five. You know, Phil, and you, and you hate to be. Uh, you hate to be critical of any driver out on, out, but there are basic things that you need to understand. And one of them is when the caution comes out or when you see smoke, stop. Don't keep going. Stop. So the field will line back up as the safety crews and track officials continue to clean up the debris on the backstretch, just the exit of turn number two. Let's go back down to pit road and windy event arena. Well, we figured we'd check in with Danica on the radio and figure out how she was doing in these first few laps. She feels pretty good on and off the gas. That's what she's getting comfortable with right now. And Daryl was right. It was a good break for her to get a few green flag laps and get a little bit of rest, give some feedback to crew chief Tony Uri Jr. If you look on the pit box, they've been discussing the car. She said the car can go anywhere she wanted, even on cold tires, and it is feeling pretty good. The biggest advantage for Danica at this point during this caution the car that was pitted in front of her was involved in the wreck, the 17 of Hal Martin. So they do have a pit opening when she goes to leave pit road, and that was a very big concern going into today's race. Yeah, and you know, when, when there's no way, this is the best scenario that uh, Danica could have right now. Got single file in a hurry. Now we got a little break here. Catch your breath, get you some Gatorade, and uh, tell me about the car. And uh, I think this is really a good break for her. You know, that's another thing that Tony Jr. was telling me that Danica was really concerned with is making pit stops. She did a lot of pit stop practicing coming in. Even when they tested, he said that she would every time she came in the pit, she would come in like she was going to make a pit stop, try to get stopped in her box just about every single time. Because that, that, that's where a lot of people make a lot of mistakes is on pit road. Right in front of Danica Patrick in the running order is five time race winner Bobby Gerhardt. See if she follows him toward the front. James Bush is still out in the front. Coverage of the Arca Racing Series on Speed is brought to you by Hershey's Milk and Milkshakes. Try a new way to indulge in Hershey's. By GoDaddy.com, where you can make your website your domain with a .com name for less than a buck a month. And by Ansel, for over 100 years, the world leader in hand protection. Again, under our first caution from Daytona International Speedway in the 2010 season, and this is why. 
See the black and white car. That's Bill Barrett in the 52, former champion of the series, driving Kenny Schrader's car. Just gets sideways, then tries to catch it. Looked like he caught it one time, then it gets away from him. Yeah, what happened was he went into one real low, and as the car obviously was a little bit too free, and as he tried to chase it up the racetrack, had to put some wheel in it, back in, came around, and then he just couldn't keep up. A lot of drivers doing a good job getting by on the inside, but then it looks like some drivers made some contact possibly, and then they, they guessed high, and unfortunately they hadn't cleared the bank yet. Yeah, what goes up always comes down here at Daytona. It's kind of a rule. If you're going to miss it, miss it high. Ten involved in this one. Those are the drivers. Leilani Muncher and Milka Duna both involved, two of our six lady drivers in the race. Josh Richards, great dirt track racer, yeah. also involved in the 99 car. A few cars making their way back onto pit road for more adjustments, fixes. One of those cars is Bobby Gerhardt. You see him right there, the Lucas car, the number five car. This is a bit early. Nope, a little strategy, I'd say. You know, uh, Probably in that pit. Were they in the pit window? What did we run for last? I don't think uh, we're quite in the pit no, window. No, we're not. 55 to 60. That's why I wonder. But, you know, there was so much debris over there, DW. Bobby may have felt like he ran through some debris and said, hey, let's don't take a chance. Get some tires on this thing. A lot, a lot of time left. Yeah, well, I also think, Phil, with the, you know, these guys run a 22 gallon fuel cell. And when you get in that pit window on fuel, you know the tires will make it. The guy won last year didn't change. So, you know the tires will make Get in, get the fuel, and you're done. Bobby had problems with tires a year ago. He had two flat tires in this race. When have you been ringing? And Bobby Gerhardt has uh, taken advantage of this pit stop. They're going under the hood, so it's more than just tires for Bobby Gerhardt. We're going to check in and see exactly what's wrong underneath that hood and get back to you, Rick. Thank you, Woody. Maybe uh, I hope it. I don't see any fluid coming out. It could have been uh, water. Maybe but it got something uh, hit the radiator, but I uh, don't see any fluid coming out. So the five time race winner is on pit road. They look like they pulled a piece of tape off, maybe temperature causing problems for Bobby. We'll be back. <laughs> 